Let's see how we can create custom delay effects in Reactor 5. Load up your door and create an audio track. Drag stab.wav onto it and set your door up to a loop around it. Add React to 5FX as an insert effect. Click the menu button to the left of the patch name and select File, New Ensemble. To make Reactor's interface larger, you can select View Large Size from the same menu. To edit the ensemble, double click the small brown panel area. This brings up the structure view where we can add and modify modules, Reactor's basic building blocks. Here you can see two input ports, left and right for stereo, and two output ports which are connected to voice combiner modules. We don't need these voice combiners for the project, so highlight them and press Del. A window will pop up explaining that you've made a change to the ensemble and that these changes won't be saved in your DAW project. Click the Create Local Copy button to save our ensemble as a separate file. You'll be asked to select a location and a name for the file. Call it CM Delay. Reactor will then tell you Autosave is enabled. Click the Close button to dismiss this message. At the moment, you won't hear anything when you play the project back because the ensemble's input ports are not connected to the output ports. Drag from the out of the left input port to the in of the left output port to form a connection. You can drag the same connection to break it if you make a mistake, or use undo from the drop down menu. Now, when you play the project back, the left channel can be heard. Before we connect the right channel, let's introduce some processing. Right click the structure view and select built in module, delay, single delay. This module introduces a delay to the signal, the length of which can be controlled by sending a control signal to the module's delay input. Let's make a knob to control delay time. Right click and select built in module, panel, knob. Connect the knob to the single delay's delay input, then connect the right input to its in and the right output to its out. We're going to use all of the modules in monophonic mode, so right click the single delay and set it to mono. Now when you play back the project, you'll hear both the left and the right channel. Next, let's find out how to actually use the knob control to introduce a basic Hass widening effect. Download over 30 exclusive plugins. Get hundreds of pro quality samples and power up your production skills with in-depth tutorials. We break it down for you step by step and you'll see exactly how it's done in expert video guides and producer masterclass sessions with pro producers. Get all this and more with Computer Music Magazine every month on iPad and iPhone, PC and Mac, Android and in print.